All right, this is Phil of the Blue. I uh, hope everyone's doing awesome. This is my wannabe other alias, and I'm going to go with another character this time. I went with um, Ruby. I did use um, John and Mira for the first little test run. So let's start going through every character now. So we did play Ruby. Let's try Weiss. So let's go. This is mission two. And once again, you know, <laughs> the music and the scenery really hits you. Let's see what she can do. It's a heavy ball. Well, that's heavy. Light attack. Jump, of course. Of course, she's doing a little ballerina swing. Can she shoot? Yes, yeah, she can. All right. So another that's... area, another security network in need of repairs. Keep an eye out for any clues about who did this. We're all counting on you. She's basically throwing snowballs. Hey. Okay. XP, there you go. Yeah, once again, I'm gonna have to give it to them, you know, kind of, it does really feel like you're in the damn show. And yes, I've watched the show, person that keeps asking me, have you seen the show? Yes. What do we have here? Favorite character? Well, as I mentioned before, I mean, I like Pura. <laughs> My damn gamer tag is Pura the Rook. But, uh... In terms of favorite favorite character, I mean, I like John, really. You know, I like all the characters, but John kind of takes it home for me because, well, for the most part, a lot of people can relate to him. You know, but I'm I'll, I'll go in a little bit more into depth in the show now. You know, being that is the second chapter, so there I'm gonna be right now a little bit of a want to be spoiler alerts of characters, I guess. But uh, I'm not I'm gonna try not to go into much depth. But John is basically a character. Or more dangerous than the grim you fought before. When it sees you, it will spin before it charges. While it's spinning, dodge out of the way. It will be disoriented after it passes you. That's when you strike. Okay, so why doesn't have the the range as Ruby does? Probably if Ruby was there, I would probably be able to hit it. Can I hit him? Nope. All right. But yeah, like I said though, um, earlier, um. Jean is more of those characters that people, more average people can relate to. More people can relate to because he's one of those, well, he's one of those characters that, you know, if you weren't good at sports or if you weren't, you know, pretty much good at anything, he's, he's one of those characters. He starts off, you know, very weak, but, you know, over time with, with practice and everything, you know, he gets good, you know, as the old Dark old Dark Souls saying goes, he gets good. So, I mean, that's that's my favorite character, Mr. Oh, okay. Dodge him. You know, second character, of course, is like Pura. And the only reason why I would say Pura, even though freaking name is... Let's try Ultimate. Ooh, okay. This is also another bit of a, of a crowd control type of deal. Ah, I missed. Heavier armor type of deal. But, um, you know, P Pira, I liked her a lot. And it's another thing, too. Those are secondary characters. I'm going to stress that right now. You know, with, with Ruby, and unlike, you know, a lot of shows nowadays, ow. It's not good. Unlike a lot of shows nowadays, they actually cared about the background characters. You know, they gave them more dialogue and even some monologue. You know, they're not just, as the traditional background characters go, they're, they're not just there to be there. Goodbye. You know, they're not just there to be there. You know, they actually do serve a purpose, whether it be enhancing the story or you know, like I said, the monologues that give you that, you know, other perspective. And it's just like I mentioned before. It's just like Star Wars, you know, the Clone Wars, the the, the one on the 3D version, the one on Netflix. They, um, a lot of the clone troopers, you know, they were the soldiers. They were the ones that were, you know, in the battles and all that. They, they gave them those monologues. They gave them those dialogues and how they felt, you know, even though it was strange for, for a lot of them to feel that way. Because, unfortunately, the way they were... Unfortunately, the way they were brought up is that they weren't supposed to think on their own, even though, like I mentioned before, they, they are, 
living beings and you know they view themselves as you know soldiers and all that they that's all they view themselves as is just soldiers you know and the, the public as well you know and that's what i liked about the show because a lot of the background characters you know some some a lot of monologue and dialogue helps you know character progression and the same thing with ruby you know every character even like i said before i, I like the background characters a little bit more it's because of their interesting stories i mean right now like i said we're on i want to say volume four ish or going on five we're barely like somewhat finding out about the main character stories you know barely i mean they gave you little hints and and things like that but you know in the terms of like actually knowing background and all that they're finally starting to dig into it not to say that it's a bad thing I know it's a stretch, but maybe you operate that mechanism to extend the bridge. You know, not to say that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that, you know, that's that's just how the show, you know, that's just how it is. You know, and they did it, at least in my opinion, they did it really well. Ah, it worked! And seemed to attract some grit. Happy hunting! A lot of buddy mashing, not gonna lie. But yeah, you know, the characters. So let's talk about the characters. So they're it's it's quite interesting how the show itself. They they what they did for each character, they have teams, right? Teams of four normally. Um I'm, I'm, I can assume that there are teams of three, possibly even teams of two, you know. But um you know, they're they're mostly teams of three, four. Sorry, I keep saying three for some reason. Um, why do I keep missing? They're teams of four, and each of their first names. So Ruby, right? It's Team Ruby. So the first character, of course, names Ruby, and then the second character is Weiss, which is the one you're watching right now in action, and then uh, <clears throat> the third character, Blake, which I'll probably play in the third mission. And the last character is Ruby's older sister, which is Yang. So, you know, their whole name creates that, uh... Oh my gosh. The words in the tip of my tongue. But basically, their names spell out the team name. All their first names. Ow. So, it's the same thing with earlier when I was playing with, uh... With, uh... John and Pura. You know, their, their, their team name at the time was Team Juniper. So it's John, Nora, which is another character I'll play later. Hold on, let me just... Kind of hard to concentrate on killing guys. And I missed. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be John, Nora, Pira, and Ren. So, again, you know, like I said before, I'll, I'll get into it. I'll be sure to get into the little bit more character, a little bit more of the, I guess while I play the game, I can get into more, you know, Ruby stuff, you know, I'm taking a lot of hits, and like I mentioned before, the damn AIs, they know, they know when you're like low on health, so they'll all, they'll all go after you. Oh, okay, interesting. And you'll Ow, ow, ow. ow. Why do I keep missing those? I guess there's no real aimbot then, I guess, huh? Nah, the only reason why I said interesting earlier is because John, so far at least... He's, he's able to, st I mean, somewhat stun, I guess, and then use his sword to, uh, to do, like, a combo move, in a sense. To do a combo move, and it's interesting. Because in the show, they're the only two swordsmen, at least main, main characters, in a sense. It's Weiss and Jean are the only ones that use swords. She uses her. Just a little longer. You would say epe type of sword. Or foil, whatever you want to call it. It's not a saber. 
Ouch, ouch, made a hit, made a hit. But it's definitely not a saber. I think it's most likely an epi. Epi type deal with sword. But John uses like kind of like a long sword. Well, not really a long sword because it's, it's a single handed sword, but. Historically speaking, though, there were some long swords that you can use uh, single-handedly. So that's just. Ooh, I'm taking hits, taking hits, taking hits here. I need that ultimate to come. Oh, okay, that's like a mini ultimate there. Okay. All right, I got you. <laughs> Stupid puns like that make the characters come to life. <laughs> At least that's in my opinion. Alright then. Too cold for you. Alright, alright, alright. Nice. Nice combos. Oh, the main guy. Shoot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, John uses like a sword, so very interesting that they have somewhat of a similar skill, even though in the show, John likes uh, Weiss, and that's already put right in the beginning, so that's not really much this of a spoiler. Interesting. But just putting that out there. Yeah, it looks like we gotta go down there. And here comes our enemies. Totally missed that. Got him, coach. And there's another. Oh, it's another big guy. Ow, what? It's supposed to stun you. Okay, so there are. Is that it? Huh, interesting. So the art combo moves from up top if you okay awesome let's keep going but yeah John has a bit of a crush on Weiss but it's not for the reasons that normally guys crush on her for and she does express that a little bit later on which is very interesting because later on well you can you should watch the show but you know it's kind of funny Seeing that they have somewhat of a wannabe similar style with the sword play, at least. Oop, I hit a wannabe invisible wall right there. Just as I thought, more sabotage from our friend with the symbol. But those cages. Was someone trying to capture Grimm? Hmm, I don't like the looks of this. For now, let's just focus on the objective defend that control center while I undo the damage. Get ready! Perfect form. Of course, I send one guy just to mess it up. I don't even know what those are. These guys aren't in the show. At least, not I've seen them before. 
missing those. Whoa, okay. Students, we're a quarter of the way there. Keep up the good work. All right, let's get going. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, block my heavy attack. All right. Let's just, yeah. And I should have probably saved that for these guys. But her special, oh, her heavy attack is kind of like a mini special. There was a guy over there. Halfway point, team. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this done. Come on, let's get him. Why does it do that? All right, get closer. Ah, oh, damn. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. At least it warns you when they give you a damn heavy attack. Ultimate's ready. My ult, for those of you that play Overwatch. Damn, these guys take too many hits. Come on. Got him. Oh boy. Dude, I gotta love this music. The lyrics are better, trust me. Missed. I right, get closer. Damn. And I get hit. No match for me. <laughs> That one guy chasing me. Let's see if there's another relic or two around here. Nope. Not here. Let's try over here. Real quick. Come on, pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Come on, pay attention to me. Alright, he's paying attention to me, hopefully. Has to be something here. Come on. Guess not. Ah, oh, they're all going for the objective.
Why is it not hitting anybody? Oh, wow. As it gets spammed in the chat room. And I miss my special. Ah, this is great. Oh, I. This is the first time I did this one. Nice. I've just received a report. Hmm. That's right. The symbol we've been seeing belongs to Merlot Industries. It's an old research and development corporation, far before your time. The company was crippled by the collapse of Mountain Glen, where they lost their primary facility and chief staff members. They never recovered from the incident and eventually shut down. Which begs the question, why is their technology suddenly popping up in the Emerald Forest? Hmm. I've never been one for riddles and history. More of a man of action, if I do say so myself. But I think I know someone who can help. Onward to victory! Alright, we got the f We got it. And I didn't die once. At least in this mission. Alright, well, this has been uh, Philip the Blue. It's my second wannabe alias, and I'll be playing Mission 3, hopefully by tomorrow. Hope everyone has a very good night, or good evening, or if you're waking up to this, uh, good morning. So, uh, <clears throat> that sounded kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be streaming more, and hopefully as the episodes get a little bit later on, to get more people subscribing, asking me questions, and I'll go into this. You know, this is one of my, one of my favorite shows, and one of my favorite shows and uh so far pretty good game so far you know a little bit more uh I'll, I'll do my little critiques once i get a little bit later on once i can actually you know right now i have three and a half hours into the game so i want to at least finish the entire game and i'll do an entire you know critique review type of deal so other than that this has been filled blue i um, hope you guys do like the video and right now if you're going to be watching it on youtube hopefully i'll put it on by tonight or later on tomorrow uh, please do tell me if you guys would like to watch more of this. So please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you soon.